All right, we turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward. It's a group that seeks out innovative ideas in the areas of energy and sustainability. Nitrogen pollution in our lakes and oceans is posing a huge ecological problem, creating big spots without oxygen. Those are known as dead zones and then killing off fish and other undersea life. Planet Forward's Frank Cessna tells us about a Stanford research group that may have a solution. It isn't pretty, but it's a cleaning system that creates energy from waste. Zombies are hot in pop culture. But what about the real life dead zones? The dead zones where nitrogen from wastewater haunts the place and scares away oxygen. Aquatic life can't breathe. An example, the Gulf of Mexico, where the Mississippi dumps runoff. A dead zone, some estimate, is the size of Connecticut. Researchers at Stanford University say they can pull a twofer, clean up that excess nitrogen, and turn it into renewable energy. They uploaded their zombie-killing idea to planetforward.org. It's an exciting opportunity to take this waste product that is being produced all over the planet and convert it into a source of renewable energy. The project's leader, Yaniv Shearson, actually is a rocket scientist. And he brought his experience using nitrous oxide rocket fuel to the field of wastewater treatment. Nobody's ever wanted to maximize the production of nitrous oxide before, so it took us a long time to figure out how can we do this efficiently. Here's how it works. First, bacteria break down the ammonia in stage one. Then we take the nitrite from here and we put it into this second reactor. So our process is two main biological steps. The result, nitrous oxide. Normally, it's a greenhouse gas, but Shearson and his team can burn the gas as fuel, cutting down on the energy input and the cost of the entire system. What if we can take the waste products that we're generating, create clean sources of energy from our waste that helps offset our demand for non-renewable energy sources. The next step, scale it up to a pilot project up to a thousand times bigger. They've already got a deal to do so with a treatment facility in Oakland, using dirty water to make clean water, to generate energy, and to go after the zombies. A novel way to move the planet forward. For Planet Forward, I'm Frank Cessna. Well, if you have an idea that you want to submit to Planet Forward, visit planetforward.org. And for more on environmental and sustainability news, you can always check out bloomberg.com slash sustainability. All right.